Oh, H-I-S-D. Jesus Christ. This is going to be a long one, so y'all hang tight. You know, it's one thing to piss off certain wink wink communities and everybody's kind of like, eh, well, you know, that's just what happens with y'all. But Buki, when you piss off the others, and they mobilize and they come for you, they come in. And I'm going to be sitting here with my popcorn and my iced coffee. Let's get into it. All right, so posted on Twitter and some of the takedown HISD groups, we have this lovely chart right here, all right? Calling out Mike Miles and his lies, the ABCs of Mike Miles and his lies. So Mike Miles is quoted as saying, we are not going to upset the apple cart in all of the schools, apple cart being the A's, the B's, and the C-rated schools. And there's a number of schools that already are doing a good job. So we need to leave those schools to do what they've always done, right? They're getting good results. He's quoted as saying this on September 23rd, 2023. But last week, a termination list of principals at some of these ABC schools was released to the media, and Mike Miles was confused about how those lists got to the media because he didn't release them, but <clears throat> he did. And some of those principals at those ABC rated schools have now been threatened with termination. Now, for the purposes of this video today, this one right here, we are going to focus on the A rated campuses. More specifically, the A rated high school campuses. So how do campuses get their ratings? So the ratings are based on performance on the state standardized test, which is the STAR test here in Texas, graduation rates, and CCMR. If you guys don't know what CCMR is, it's college career military readiness. Out of over 8,000 schools in Texas, only 27.9% of those schools have been given an A rating. Now pay attention to those nine high schools listed under the A rating because we are about to go on a little trip. Principal of Carnegie Vanguard High School, Mr. Raymond or Ramon Moss. Carnegie Vanguard is ranked number 35 in the nation, number five in Texas, number one in the Houston, Texas metro area, number one in HISD, number 12 in magnet schools, and number 248 in STEM schools. 99.8% scorecard. Mr. Herrera, DeBakey High School. DeBakey is ranked number 66 in the nation, number six in Texas, number two in the Houston, Texas metro area, number two in HISD, and number 18 in magnet high schools. Mr. Jose Santos, the principal of Challenge Early College High School. Ms. Claudia Castillo, principal of East Early College High School. Now, Eastwood Academy principal, it was Dr. Anna Aguilar, but they got rid of her for some strange reason in October. That's, that's still a little weird. But now it's Ms. Natasha Cruz Jefferson. Dr. Priscilla Rivas, the principal of the High School for Performing and Visual Arts, the school that our very own Queen Bee went to. Dr. Samantha Brooks, principal, North Houston Early College High School. Now, with the exception of Ms. Lori, um, something just feels suspicious. Because what could they have possibly done? Were these some of the principals who were being berated in that principal meeting held by the superintendent? You know, they were told, hey, you don't do anything other than what I tell you to do. And if you can't do that, then you can go right now. Because what more could you possibly want from an A-rated campus? Anywho, well, they done pissed those parents off over there in some of the big money Houston areas. So I am hella excited to see where this goes now. And if any of you want to hop on a Zoom, um, call me.